Professor Pan Hammerstrom, can you summarize what this year's Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded for? And Dr. Uh, Kathleen uh, Carrico and Dr. Uh, Jill Westman together, they have discovered that uh, by using nucleoside-based modifications on um, in vitro synthesized or in vitro produced RNA can help us to bypass the new checkpoint and uh, to avoid the unnecessary or bad inflammatory response that triggered by our immune cells. Mm -hmm. By this way, this uh, help the cells can produce more proteins and also reduce the inflammatory response and they can use uh, uh, to make RNA a best platform as a therapeutics, including the MR vaccines. So maybe it's obvious, but how does the discovery affect our daily lives? I think this year's discovery is uh, a big, <laughs> has a major impact on our science, and medicine, or society. As everybody has experienced the COVID-19 pandemic that affects all our lives, economy, and uh, public health. It's a dramatic event. So I think uh, probably I don't need to emphasize more that the basic discovery made by the Loris has made a huge impact on our society. So what would you say is the biggest advantage with uh, using the mRNA vaccines compared to all the techniques? So there are several different types of vaccines, uh, vector-based, uh, inactive virus-based vaccines, and this new vaccine platform, mRNA vaccines. So the advantage is it's uh, fast because it requires um, less resource and potentially can also be low cost and also extremely safe as a press conference just mentioned that the without integrated our genome is extremely safe. So it's a fast, uh, high efficiency, uh, potentially cheaper and also safe. And uh, if I understand correctly, this platform can target other kinds of diseases than COVID-19. Could you please explain? Yes. So I will say this discovery has uh, opened a new chapter for medicine. So this is not only going to be useful for producing more vaccines against other infectious diseases like malaria and uh, RSV, CMV, all the difficult virus, including HIV maybe, and, but also can help us to um, combat other non-infectious diseases, for instance, cancer. And you can make uh, personalized cancer vaccines, for example. And also the RNA can be used to directly deliver uh, proton therapies to our cells. And that open up for all different variety of disease, like uh, some rare genetic disorders and also more common autoimmune disorders, for example. So if you turn to the laureates, uh, Kathleen Carrico and Drew Weissman, what can you tell me about them? Uh, so there's a lot of reports on that already. So uh, Katherine uh, was born in Hungary. Uh, she's a biochemistry and she's a dream to make RNA as a therapeutics. So he went to US 1985 and uh, later she became assistant professor in University of Pennsylvania. And Dr. Ju Westman, and he is an um, immunologist but also microbiologist. So he was trained as MD, PhD, and also did his postdoc on, on, uh, in NIH. So he liked to develop vaccines, for example. And so they met in the University of Philadelphia, I believe, uh, in 1997, and they start their long uh, fruitful collaborations. And uh, I understand that uh, Professor Carrico was particularly happy to get this announcement today. Yeah, I, as learned from uh, Thomas, I think, yes, she was overwhelmed and very happy. And finally, uh, please tell me in 30 seconds, why are you excited by this year's prize? So first of all, and I'm extremely glad uh, Katherine is uh, one of the 13 female uh, scientists who ever received Nobel Prize for Medicine, uh, Physiology or Medicine. And it has been uh, um, difficult because uh, for the past 20, 30 years, and mainly uh, uh, so the female scientists are underwhelmed or uh, underrepresented. 
but uh, the things has been improving, and I'm very happy to see that. And second, I'm also very happy to say uh, that uh, she shared a prize together with uh, Jude Westman, that represent a teamwork, a nice collaboration, so scientists cross different uh, disciplines that they can work together. And third, as I couldn't emphasize more, I think uh, the pandemic, the huge impact on pandemic, and uh, that affects uh, all of us. And I think this nicely to show that scientific discovery can actually change the world. So as a scientist, I'm extremely happy about that. And I hope you all agree that investment on long-term basic research is very important. Thank you so much. Thank you.